Welcome to Sports Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Australia's National Rugby League following NFL model in trying to expand its footprint to the US. NFL's reportedly tested first down tracking technology that could replace chain crews. Crystal Palace co-owner John Textor Q&A, Parrish, fan protests, Hodgson, Glasner. The full story will become clear, Pogba bans to fight four-year ban after claims of doping. Spring training, Pirates rookie Paul Skeens tops Orioles Jackson Holiday with 100 mph fastball in battle of number one picks. Australia's National Rugby League following NFL model in trying to expand its footprint to the U.S. Associated Press. The NRL is taking its game to the U.S. to grow its fan base, following a model set by the NFL. Four NRL teams will open their season at Las Vegas Allegiant Stadium, with the games being televised nationally in the U.S. The NRL hopes to create a U.S. fan base similar to the English Premier League's strong American following. NFL's reportedly tested first down tracking technology that could replace chain crews. Yahoo! The NFL has tested optical technology in multiple games, including the Super Bowl, to track first downs, according to league officials at the NFL Scouting Combine. The technology, which has not been approved for use in the 2024 season, would eliminate the need for sideline chain crews and human error. The NFL already uses a digital tracking system to analyze player and team performance but has not used it to determine whether the ball has crossed a first down threshold or goal line. Crystal Palace co-owner John Textor Q&A, Parrish, fan protests, Hodgson, Glasner. Yahoo! Crystal Palace co-owner John Textor has spoken about his love for the club, fan protests, his relationship with chairman Steve Parrish, and multi-club ownership models. Textor, who is the biggest shareholder in the Premier League club, admitted that he does not manage Palace but works closely with the chairman and sporting director. He also dismissed fan banners criticizing him, arguing that he is not responsible for running the club. Textor defended multi-club ownership models, insisting that they can be successful, but emphasized the importance of collaboration between clubs. Textor explained his admiration for new manager Oliver Glasner, claiming that he was a better fit for Palace than Lyon, where Textor also has a majority stake. He praised Glasner's management style and tactics, suggesting that he would bring an intensity to the team. When asked about the financial limitations imposed by Premier League regulations, Textor argued that they prevent owners from investing in clubs and competing with those with unlimited funds. He also criticized European football for allowing foreign states to buy clubs and subsidize them with unlimited money. Textor stated that this has created an unfair competitive landscape. Textor expressed his commitment to Palace and his desire to increase his shareholding in the club. However, he admitted that if greater collaboration cannot be achieved between the clubs he owns, he may consider selling his interest in Palace. Textor concluded by arguing that the concentration of power and wealth has broken the game, suggesting that this is not the case in US sports where teams compete fairly. The full story will become clear, Pogba bans to fight four-year ban after claims of doping. ABC Paul Pogba, the midfielder for Juventus and the French national team, has been handed a four-year doping ban by NATO Italia after testing positive for testosterone. Pogba denies any wrongdoing and intends to appeal the decision at the Court of Arbitration for Sport, CAS. The ban could potentially end Pogba's career at the highest level, as he is currently 30 years old with a contract at Juve until 2026. If the ban is upheld, his contract could be terminated and he will not be able to return to action until September 2027. Pogba was one of the highest-earning players in the sport at his peak and completed a record transfer to Manchester United in 2016. Spring training, Pirates rookie Paul Skeens tops Orioles Jackson Holiday with 100 mph fastball in battle of number one picks. Yahoo! In a spring training game between the Pittsburgh Pirates and Baltimore Orioles, Pirates rookie pitcher and number one pick in the 2023 draft, Paul Skeens, faced off against two former number one picks, Jackson Holiday and Adley Rushman. Skeens induced a groundout from Holiday with a 100 mph fastball and got Rushman to fly out to the warning track with a 99 mph fastball. Skeens hit 102 mph twice on the radar gun and pitched a scoreless inning in his MLB spring training debut. Although the Orioles won the game 9 to 8, Skeens impressed with his performance. Breach of trust, suspended prison sentence handed to Canberra soccer club president who stole funds. ABC. Former Gungahlin United Football Club president, Aaron Alexander, has been handed suspended prison sentences for stealing money from the club. Alexander was found guilty of 48 charges of theft, including spending $8,233 on leasing a car for personal use. 
he was sentenced to four months' imprisonment for charges of electronic charges to his bank account and three months for charges related to car lease payments, with the sentences to be served concurrently. The sentences are suspended on the condition of good behavior for 24 months and completion of 160 hours of community service within 12 months. Alexander was also jailed for 15 days in relation to six charges on debit card payments. The offenses took place over a seven-month period and only ceased when Alexander was removed from his position at the club. The court described his actions as a breach of trust and noted that he had opportunities to stop his actions but did not do so. Alexander's assets have been frozen and he has been unable to find employment since 2020. The charges have also had a profound impact on the club and its volunteers, causing stress, trauma, and loss of players and income. Odds for Justin Fields to land with the Falcons shoot up, again. Yahoo! The Atlanta Falcons are the heavy favorites to land quarterback Justin Fields in the 2021 NFL Draft, according to DraftKings Sportsbook. The Falcons' odds of landing Fields have increased from minus 300 to minus 425, with the Chicago Bears, plus 250, Pittsburgh Steelers, plus 450, Las Vegas Raiders, plus 1,200, New York Giants, plus 1,800, and New England Patriots, plus 2,200, trailing behind. The Falcons have reportedly spoken to the Bears about Fields, and the team's head coach, Raheem Morris, has described Fields as a potential fit for Atlanta. Fields, however, has expressed a desire to remain in Chicago. The Monaco Royals whose deals have brought peril to the palace doors. Bloomberg. Prince Albert II of Monaco is at the center of a corruption investigation regarding state contracts awarded to his nephews, Andrea and Pierre Kossiragi. An investigation by Bloomberg Businessweek has revealed that the government of Monaco has regularly favored the Kasaragis for at least 15 years. In 2009, the brothers' company began work on state contracts worth more than $60 million. The prince himself is accused of intervening in a lawsuit to allow the Kasaragis to build a luxury apartment building near the Casino de Monte Carlo, and a government official is accused of helping the brothers prepare their bid to take over Monaco's exclusive helicopter service. Both Prince Albert and the Kasaragis deny any wrongdoing. The investigation is the latest in a series of crises that have shaken Albert's rule over Monaco. The country is currently awaiting two reports from international watchdogs investigating its regulation of money laundering and internal corruption. Last year, European inspectors warned that Monaco could be placed on the grey list of countries with lax financial crime controls, alongside Syria and Haiti. The country has also been hit by the Les Dossiers du Rocher scandal in which hackers released documents purporting to show financial impropriety by members of Albert's inner circle. City to extend vacant home tax deadline while council gets OK to keep tight grip on rising expenses of FIFA World Cup games. The Toronto Star. Toronto has extended the deadline for homeowners to declare their eligibility for the city's vacant home tax to March 15, from February 29, 2024, to provide property owners with more time. The vacant home tax was introduced in 2022 to discourage property owners from keeping homes empty during Toronto's tight housing market, and currently stands at 1% of a property's assessed value, rising to 3% in 2024. Hong Kong's West Kowloon Arts Hub funding crisis threatens to halt event deals. South China Morning Post. The West Kowloon Cultural District Authority in Hong Kong will have to halt commitments for future events from June if the government does not resolve its funding crisis by then, its chairman has told the South China Morning Post. Henry Tang Yen said that the authority's cash resources would dry up by June next year, but contracts for new exhibitions and projects had to be signed a year in advance. The authority is waiting for a government decision on a proposed funding plan that involves selling part of the arts district's 40 hectares. Osvaldo Alonso retires after 15 years in Mills, 10 of those seasons with the Seattle Sounders. Associated Press. Osvaldo Alonso, one of the most feared players in Major League Soccer, MLS, has retired after a 15-year career. Nicknamed the Honey Badger for his aggressive style of play, Alonso was a top defensive midfielder and spent 10 seasons with the Seattle Sounders. He appeared in 339 games with the Sounders and played a key role in winning six major trophies, including two MLS Cup titles. Alonso signed a ceremonial one-day contract with the Sounders to retire with the team. He also played for Minnesota United and Atlanta United before retiring. Alonso's professional career began in 2008 with the Charleston Battery in the USL after he defected from Cuba. Brothers Inaki and Nico Williams lead Athletic Bilbao to Copa Final with route of Atletico Madrid. Associated Press. Athletic Bilbao defeated Atletico Madrid 3-0 to reach the Copa del Rey final. 
Brothers Inaki and Nico Williams both scored in the match, with Nico assisting Inaki for the opening goal. Gorka Garuzada also scored for Athletic. The final will be played on April 6 in Seville against Mallorca. This victory marks Athletic Bilbao's third Copa del Rey final in five seasons. The Washington Nationals put up a silly sign at spring training. Here's why it matters. Yahoo! The Washington Nationals have received criticism for the signs that were erected at their training facility, which said I don't care how fast you throw ball for, as many believe this messaging is incorrect and doesn't convey a positive message to the pitchers. The Nats have struggled to keep up with the technological advances in baseball, despite their recent success. Maryland assistant Mike Jones to be next men's basketball coach at Old Dominion, Washington Post. Maryland men's basketball assistant coach Mike Jones is set to become the head coach at Old Dominion. The announcement comes days after former Old Dominion coach Jeff Jones announced his retirement due to health-related issues. This will be Jones's first college head coaching job, as he has previously served as an assistant coach at Virginia Tech and as the head coach of DeMata High School. Jones has a strong coaching record, including a national title at DeMata in 2006 and a 511 to 119 overall record at the school. He has also coached several players who have gone on to play in the NBA. Jones has extensive ties to USA Basketball, having served as a coach for the organization multiple times. As the Wizards evaluate their roster, depth pieces embrace the opportunity. Washington Post. Eugene Amaroyi, one of three Washington Wizards players on a two-way contract, divides his time between the capital city Go-Go in the G League and the Wizards. As a result, Amaroyi's NBA minutes are so inconsistent and his shifts so sporadic that he has to be dialed completely into the flow and energy of every game. Amari talks to players on court because sometimes they can see things from their perspective or people need encouragement or positivity. This allows Amari to be a part of the game without being in the game. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.